Hello folks and welcome to that screencast. In this video I'm going to show you how to sync your iPhone or iPod or even iPad to two different Macs. Um, so you better sync across music and videos and obviously applications. You better do all that using two different Macs. Um, I've been doing this or using this my Mac, two different Macs for a couple of weeks now. I've not come into any problem so it seems to work fine. So I'll show you how, in this video I'll show you how to do it and how to do it properly and safely so you don't actually lose any data. So let's get straight into the video. So this is my main Mac with my uh, iPhone which my iPhone is currently synced to. Now what I need to do first of all is back up the iPhone. So I'll go to over to the sidebar where the iPhone is if you've obviously got your iPhone plugged in and it's either control click or right click and you want to do a backup, backup your iPhone. Once you've backed it up, if you ever need to restore your iPhone, you can find it under here, restore from backup, and you can choose your most current um, backup for your iPhone. So make sure you back up. Second of all, you need to make sure you've got this ticked here. Manually manage music, make sure that is ticked. Do a sync, make sure it is it's took effect. Now that is done. Second of all, now we need to transfer my iTunes on this computer over to my second computer. Now this is how you do it. Go to Finder, go to your music folder, go to your current iTunes folder, and now you've got two options here. You can transfer the whole folder over. Mine is currently 24 gigabytes, so I can transfer that whole folder over to my second Mac. If I haven't got enough space on my second Mac, I don't have to transfer everything. I can just transfer these two files here. iTunes Music Library .xml and the iTunes Library file. These two files are the main files which you need. So it's up to you. Either drag this whole folder onto an external drive and transfer it onto your Mac, your second Mac, sorry, or just these two files. So for purpose of this video I'm just going to do these two files. Drag it, drop it onto a um, external drive so there you go the two files. Now I'm going to move over to my second Mac. So this is my, uh, my second Mac, it's actually my MacBook and what I've done is I've brought my uh, external drive over with my iTunes library file and my iTunes music library .xml file from my other Mac. You may have brought your whole iTunes folder across. If you have, then that's fine as well. So now what we need to do is go to Finder, go to my music folder, where I'll find the iTunes folder. What I need to do with this is call it Backup. iTunes Backup. By the way, I would make sure iTunes is closed just in case it might interfere. Now what you need to do is either bring over the iTunes folder, if you have brought it, if you haven't and it's just these two files then what you need to do is create a folder for them. So call it iTunes. Bring them two files over. Drop them in. And there, you've done. Now, when we open iTunes up, you will notice that when I plug my iPhone in now, it will actually sync to this Mac and I can transfer music onto my iPhone and applications etc works fine it also works fine with my old Mac they are the first Mac so I can plug it in both from it works fine now if you transferred the whole iTunes folder over to your second Mac all this music in here will be playable if you didn't then all these tracks here will not do out they won't play so what you need to do is delete them so go command A to select them all then command delete same with the podcast, TVs, the movies, books the apps as well so it's command A to select them all and command backspace and delete them all if you brought the whole iTunes folder over you won't have this problem the music will all be playable and stuff now just a quick note if you're not happy with this and you want to go back to how things were before all you have to do is go to the music folder delete this iTunes folder and rename this back to iTunes if you wish. 
So thanks for watching that tutorial, hopefully you found it useful. If you need to, watch the video a second time because there were quite a number of steps there. And like I said, as long as you, you do the backups, like I mentioned, then it shouldn't be a problem. I've been using my iPhone for a couple of weeks now with two different Macs, syncing to two different Macs, and find it to be perfectly fine. It works brilliant. So yeah, definitely worth doing. So thanks for watching the video. If you want, you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash appscreencast. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.